Kind of crazy to think about. We're at week nine of the college football season. All three of our D1 teams with games on Saturday, Idaho and Eastern Washington, renewing a rivalry in Washington State, looking to end a three-game losing streak. We'll start with the Cougs, who are set to face Stanford on the road. It's been a bit of a fall from grace of late for WSU, who started the season 4-1 and one, and now are at an even 500 at 4-4. Four and four. When you look at this game on paper, it's a fairly even matchup. WSU is a four-and-a-half point favorite heading into Saturday. The one glaring weakness for the Cardinal is their ability to stop the run. This season given up over 200 yards on the ground per game, but WSU is averaging a measly 83 yards on the ground, so not exactly a spot the Cougs are in a position to exploit. Both teams have a lot to play for this weekend as the Cougs and Cardinal are fighting for bowl eligibility. For WSU, this week is all about battling to get back on track with four winnable games left in the season. We have four amazing opportunities against four teams. They want the same things we do, right? Stanford's fighting for their tail off to extend their season, right? There's two dogs and one piece of meat out there on Saturday, and we got to go take it. I like to say we got five weeks left, not four, so um, I'm looking forward to those next five opportunities, and I really think we can, you know, win every single one of those games and uh, we'll be where we want to be. Washington State at Stanford is set to kick off at 12.30 Saturday afternoon. That game can be watched on the Pac-12 network. The Idaho Vandals dropped from 14th to 15th in the latest FCS Stats Perform rankings after their first loss in Big Sky Conference play in a nail-biter at number two Sacramento State 31-28. Saturday, the Vandals renewing their rivalry with Eastern Washington at home in the Kibbe Dome. For the Vandals, the key in this matchup will be slowing down the Eagles' passing attack. As always, Coach Best and crew like to throw the ball around, attempting 60 passes in last week's game against Portland State. While the two team seasons are going in different directions, with Idaho sitting at 5-3 and three in Eastern Washington at 2-6, and six, the Vandals aren't taking Iwu lightly. Uh, they're an explosive offense, and they can, they can score. You know, they're down 21-0 to Sac State. They rip off 21 straight to, to tie it. So, um, you know, they can score points fast, they can score them in bunches, uh, so you can't, uh, you can't relax. And again, they've had a very, very tough schedule. So their record is not, uh, you know, probably up to their typical par, but uh, they still have a lot of talented players and a good team. And, uh, you know, I expect Coach Best, he's a very good coach. He'll, you know, we'll get their best effort on, uh, on Saturday. On Eastern Washington's end, the Eagles suffered a 38-35 loss to Portland State this past Saturday, while Iwu did lose the game. The Eagles played arguably their best half of football with a 28-point comeback this season. The team is hoping that momentum can carry over and lead to a fast start on Saturday, something they think is key to coming away with a win in a game where, for the first time in a while, they are underdogs against Idaho. Definitely start fast and let's play that hard the whole the whole time, for the whole 60 minutes. I, that, that was a pretty special 30 minutes of football, um, but the first 30 minutes was, was not very special. So um, trying to carry that momentum over. I don't think momentum can really necessarily take you into seven days later, uh, but I think those feelings can. I think that confidence can. Eastern Washington at Idaho kicks off at noon on Saturday. We'll have full coverage from that game for you. You can also watch it live on ESPN+. That's going to do it for sports.